Hi YouTube, welcome to your back to the channel. I hope that you guys are excited for today's video. It's been another few months since I've done a QA. and a I try to do them like every two months for you guys just because honestly those are like one of the most requested videos on my channel which I appreciate just because I know that you guys want to ask us questions and know like the updates and don't want to see the same content all the time and so I think these are just a really good way for people to go back and like watch on our channel or people who are new subscribers just to kind of like see what's been going on I guess and... Yeah, if you guys haven't watched the boys diagnosis video, I highly suggest going to watch that. We always get questions primarily focused on the boys diagnoses and like what's going on with their health and I think that's just a very informative video. I go over pretty much everything that they've been diagnosed with except that I forgot to mention that Ezra has pulmonary hypertension. I think I hit everything else, but you know, after like 20 diagnoses, they all like mesh together. I have all my questions you guys asked on my phone, so I'm gonna be going through and doing those. I usually have to make this into a two-part video so we'll see I just kind of follow how long it's taken me to like film on my camera and then go from there on whether or not I need to split it up so we'll see bear with me also I'm sitting in like the most random place today the lighting is like just so pretty in front of my bedroom windows but I don't have anywhere to sit because you know me and Braxton moved from a full house to just an upstairs of a house with three children and two nurses who are almost always here so it's just a lot going on we don't have a lot of space, so I just don't have a really great filming area. I am excited though because my mom has an office downstairs and she has decided to let me share it with her, which is so nice. So she's going to be cleaning it out like later this month probably and I will get to put a desk in there and have a space to like work. During the day right now, this is literally where I work, is my bedroom. And so yeah, I'm sitting on the floor just vibing. I thought this would be a good place though to film today. It's just pretty. So let's go ahead and get on into it. I mean, it's just... Let's do it. Um, what's a goal you have for yourself and each of the boys for this next year of life? Um, a personal goal for me that I made was I wanted to read 50 books this year. I'm on track to do so, so that's exciting. And I just want to be healthier overall. I wanted to cut back on drinking and, you know, not use that so much as a crutch just because, you know, on nights that I have a nurse, I'll sit and drink wine or, you know, I if we have a nurse on the weekends, I like to go out, but I also, you know, realize that that's not like a healthy coping mechanism and I don't need to do this frequently you know I can of course like let loose and do it you know when I want or just have a glass of wine here and there but I don't want to use it as a coping mechanism if that makes sense so that was like one of the biggest goals that I've recently set for myself for like the remainder of the year and then of course I just want to continue growing on YouTube because it is my full-time career right now and put back money so that we can eventually buy a house we got really really screwed on our taxes this year we got back significantly less than we did the year before which we were really hoping to put towards a house so that was kind of a big really really actually big thing for us that was kind of just a kick in the you know um but things happen and you just evolve and move on so my biggest thing right now is just trying to focus on me be healthier version of myself and make money for the boys i would just say i want ezra to you know hopefully by the beginning of next year so within the next year i really would love for him to start trialing off the vent and being off of it at least full time during the day i think that would be a great goal for him i know that he is on track to be able to do that as long as he he tolerates all his weans he should be I think starting trials off the vent by like February so that seems like a long time away but I also I don't know about you guys I feel like he just came home and it's been five months already so I think it'll go by fast you know it's only like eight months away so that would be my biggest goal for him and then that way hopefully by next summer he could be off the vent during all waking hours and just be on it at night which would be so much easier you know to take him to do stuff um yeah so that's my biggest thing for him right now as far as Croy getting to the point where he doesn't use his gtube or need his gtube at all would be fantastic he's getting there slowly but surely so keep just that in your good vibes and prayers that he continues to do that it's been really nice eliminating you know one of the feeds for him so yeah just just keep him in your prayers and then for Daxon, i would say probably just the same thing trying to find out you know what health stuff that we can do to better support him i'm really hoping that he'll start talking more which he is doing and then also being able to eat more by mouth and he is starting to do that too so i think he's making really good strides in the right direction what are you looking forward to doing as the kids are slowly improving medically any trips that's actually the my sole thing that I want to do is take the kids on trips my goal is that once the weather is nice we get them out of the house once a week whether that be to the park or just on a walk like I just want to get out of the house at least once a week and so I know that we are planning to go to like the aquarium and like the zoo that's close to here and I really would love to venture out and do like a Branson weekend with the kids Branson Missouri is like four hours from us and there's just like a lot of different things that we could do with the kiddos and also like me and Braxton but we'll see Braxton sounds like too enthused 
about trying to get them all out for a away from the house just thinking of all the things that we would have to pack and how stressful it probably would be but we'll see do you think Ezra will be able to eat on his own yes I do think he will eventually I think it's probably just gonna take time like anything else has with all of their you know health issues same thing with Daxon I believe in my heart that eventually they will I just you know it's on their own timing and I used to stress so much about it and now I've realized that we are grateful that we have you know those things and that technology has advanced the way that it has because if they were born you know back when my grandparents were growing up for instance they probably none of them would have made it and so I you know it doesn't affect their quality of life people are always like I have you know the negative comments every once in a while that are like what kind of quality of life do your kids have their quality of life is great I mean they do things that everyone else does minus Ezra can't go underwater but what two-year-olds are like actively working on going underwater regularly so I don't think that that you know by any means alters his you know quality of life and the other two are doing just as well they can get in the water with their feeding tubes go swimming go on trips like it might be a little bit more difficult we might have to pack more things but they're still doing overly you know well what are the boys personality differences Daxon is destructive he likes to like tear things up if you like clean up all the toys he'll like go over and flip the whole basket over Ezra is kind of that way too but he like throws stuff all the time Croy is just like he wants everything to himself he wants to take brother's toys and like not share he's not good with sharing he is honestly probably not even because of like their medical stuff but he's probably the easiest because he just like usually entertains himself but when he gets mad it's a meltdown although I will say that when Daxon gets mad he's the worst like he will have like a 15 to 20 minute meltdown where it's like you just have to pretty much let him like deal it with it on his own like we're into the terrible twos for sure and it's it is funny like all their personalities are so different Daxon is I, I think a little bit more sensitive maybe Ezra is like it's really hard to like really hurt his feelings he's just kind of like I'm vibing all the time he's pretty self-entertaining I'm sure that's a lot of the fact because he was in the hospital for so long so you know he's able to do a lot of things on his own and entertain himself but he's also like very clingy if that makes sense like if you make him like do stuff on his own he will but he also like if you're by him he's gonna like scoot over to you and be like pick me up so I'm sure a lot of that is just from the hospital and being there for 19 months that he probably has those personality traits but it is funny just to see how they've evolved. Corey used to be like the rotten one and honestly like he's pretty sweet now whereas Daxon was like super sweet and cuddly and like wanted to be with you and now he's just kind of like eh. I don't know it's it's funny when do you think you'll move out of your mom's house so like I said it's um it's hard because it's it's hard for me and Braxton to even get like good solid work done right now because we have so much going on for instance like this week alone we have three doctor's appointments Braxton drives an hour for work which is the same place that our doctor's appointments are at but like we would have to drive separate and then there's Ezra and Ezra always has to have two caregivers with him and so it's just like it's a lot that goes to play into it and so it's just really hard to like Braxton usually works like three maybe lucky to get four days a week of work in and I get like one to two days of work in um a week so just I mean we're saving up as we can I think once Ezra comes off the ventilator it'll probably be a more realistic goal for us to be able to move out but we're also not in a hurry just because you know we do have like our own space up here and I don't want to jump into moving into a place that's not like good for us or like a bad financial decision if that makes sense I want to be able to put down 20% on a house and I want it to be one that we really really like and that we're planning to spend time in. I don't want to just like get a house to get a house which is hard because there's been a few times we definitely could have moved out and gotten a house but if it's not really necessary for us right now and we have all the extra help while they have you know these more trying medical needs then it doesn't really make sense for us to make that leap just yet. Are Daxon and Ezra able to say any words? Your boys are adorable. Ezra makes a lot of sounds but he also thank you. I, I'm biased but they're pretty cute. Ezra he makes a lot of sounds but because of his trach he can't really like form words yet. We're hoping that you know as time goes goes on he will be able to but once he gets his trach out or I guess not even once he gets his trach out but once he comes off the ventilator he'll get a speaking valve on the end of his trach and then he should be able to like start talking I've heard that like once kids get their speaking valve within like a couple months they're like they won't shut up like now they're excited because they get to talk so it's not that he can't talk ever he just can't really efficiently do it right now because of his trach. Daxon is talking now he sounds um kind of scary god love him so sweet he sounds like a little I don't know how to explain it. It's fine. We're fine. It's everything's good. He says go, ball. He like roars like a lion. I'm trying to think what else. He tries to talk a lot, but it's, I'll have to just film it for you guys, but it's like go, <laughs> ball. So it's very like raspy and like low, but say go. Good job. 
Did you say go? Good job. <laughs> we'll see. With time, we might, you know, be able to do something to optimize his vocal cords. We'll just kind of have to see. The pros and cons is kind of where we're at, so it can affect his eating if we do go through with that surgery. So we're kind of just trying to, like, weigh it out and figure out our best options for him. He does go back to his specialist the next coming weeks. Um, so hopefully we have more answers to that pretty soon. I am not coaching cheer anymore. I just, it was, it's an hour away and it was really hard when, you know, our nurse was, we were going to be losing nursing and I was just getting overly stressed about, you know, trying to, you know, just fit it into our schedule and the the hardest thing was just traveling for competitions i loved it i loved coaching but it was you know until i feel like we moved to kansas city area it's just hard right now to keep up with it are you two back together so me and braxton like recently like very recently sat down and just like talked about everything and we've been actively working kind of on ourselves and just kind of doing our own thing and like i said it's very fresh and very new and there hasn't been a solidified like it wasn't like one day we were like we're back together because we've honestly both been just kind of focusing on ourselves for I don't know since February ish time I think and we're just taking it day by day I don't know we're just we're just seeing how life goes if we you know are able to have and maintain a healthy relationship then you know we'll be back together if not then I think we'll be great friends and co-parents but we're just going to take it a day at a time and go from there we had been like hanging out more and like doing things in social settings and so you know together and then of course the boys like had their birthday party and stuff so long story short that's all I don't really have like a you know big answer but if you could go back and change or redo something in your life what would it be and why you know honestly I know this sounds super cliche but I don't think that I would change a lot in my life just because I think that everything up until this point has has happened for a reason and I I don't know I think that I would be in a very different place in my life had those things not happened and it not necessarily be a good place if that makes any sense at all I just don't think you know I think the lessons and the things that have happened to me have really shaped who I am and I like the person that I'm becoming from those experiences so I think that it was it's been worth it even though I've had some really dark you know, 